gentleman is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding and Madam Speaker, and I rise today in strong opposition to repealing health reform. Instead of focusing on job creation, uh, my friends across the aisle want to refight the health reform debate and take away patient protections that are already helping people get the health care they need. It bears repeating. Health reform is already helping millions of people in America. These aren't just numbers, they're real people. In my community, I received a letter from a young woman named Stephanie Blazin from Castro Valley, California. And Stephanie recently graduated from college, married, moved to California where her husband was pursuing a graduate degree. She was lucky and quickly got a job. Then within her first few weeks on the job, she found she was pregnant. This should have been an exciting time for a young couple to start a family. Instead, she learned that her pregnancy was a pre-existing condition and she'd obtained no coverage for any medical needs surrounding it. She said to me, my first thought through our minds were tainted by how we were going to financially handle this pregnancy and a baby. Fortunately, because health reform is law and she is under age 26, Stephanie was able to quickly change her health insurance to obtain coverage on her father's health insurance. She now has full coverage for her pregnancy. Under the Republican plan, Stephanie would be stuck with no care. That's the Republican plan. By repealing health reform, the GOP plan would provide no protections for people's health. No care if you lose your job, no care if you have a pre-existing condition, no care if you're a senior in the donut hole, no care if your insurer hikes your premiums and you can't afford it. The Affordable Care Act has finally enacted fair rules for insurance companies. The Republicans want to take those protections away and put the insurance industry back in charge. I urge my colleagues to vote no on the Republican no-care bill. Gentleman's time's expired.